Ushirika with Alex Chamwada. We are already on the fourth episode of your favorite program about cooperatives in Kenya. And today we are focusing on Safaricom Investment Cooperative Society. We started off with about 100 members. Today we have a membership of close to 5,000. We've done close to 180 land projects with 4,600 people buying our lands. For Safaricom Investment Cooperative, we've done projects worth over 1.5 billion up to date. One of the things that I've done is buy two acres of land. Safaricom Investment Cooperative Society was formed in 2009 as an investment arm of the Safaricom Savings and Credit Cooperative Society. Safaricom Sacco existed from uh, the year 2000 and around 2008 the membership of Safaricom Sacco decided under the guidance of the Ministry of Cooperatives to separate the arm of investment from the savings and credits just uh, for prudence sake and uh, to make sure that the two activities, investing in immovable asset, running a business type of environment, does not then affect the typical savings and credits business. Today we have a nice engagements where the SACO offers loans to, its, to the members to buy projects from us and those loans come in any form depending on what the member is looking for. We started by very few members to start the cooperative. Within a period of uh, five years, the membership had grown to around 1,800. Majorly it was Safaricom staff, but at that stage, because of the demand from the general public, we decided to open it up to public membership. Our current membership is at 48% uh, Safaricom staff and uh, general public 52. Membership is categorized into individual, group and company. For individual membership, one is required to pay an application fee of 10,000, which is non-refundable. You are also required to buy a minimum of 500 shares. So you basically need uh, 36,500 to be a member. The vision of Safaricom Investment Cooperative Society is to be the investment partner of choice in East Africa. Its products and services are geared towards transforming the economic and social well-being of its members. We have been able to give them properties where they can live in, where they can invest in and get some return. We have been able to give them returns through our member-related products like our fixed deposits. Instead of the cooperative going to lending from the banks, we encourage our members to invest with us and we give them some return in what we call the prepare fixed deposit. We have been able to do more than uh, 120 projects. We are now close to 180 projects, both in housing and in land. One of the society's flagship housing projects is Bluebells in Siokimau, Machakos County. It has 306 units comprising two bedroom and three bedroom apartments. Cooperative Bank partnered with us and gave us a facility of close to 700 million to develop that project. We developed that project in phases and they continued to support us. They were able to actually have their members of take the land, have the units done up to completion, which is one of the things that is not very common in this market, where you, you, you get land, develop, and give members complete units. Safaricom was able to do that, and we are extremely very proud of them. When we finished that one, we went on to another project in Ruaka, where they actually also partnered with us. And they have continued to partner with us in lending products, as well as a good current account facilities that have helped us to be where we are today. Kanute Waswa, a team building and customer experience trainer, is one of the investors in the Bluebells project. He says he got to know about Safaricom Investment Cooperative Society through his professional engagement with Safaricom PLC as a trainer. I joined in 2011, so this being 2021, it has been 10 years. 
and in the 10 years I have been able to save with them, save in their secondary market. I've been able to get interest and benefits from that and at the same time I've, I've also been able to get uh, a few units here at Bluebells. We've also done townhouses in Rongai, we call it Rongai Villas. These are machinettes of three and four bedroom houses. Besides that, we've uh, bought property called Kitisuru Garden. And our greatest achievement is not uh, completing those houses and selling them to members, but giving life to that project and uh, helping a vendor who was distressed to be able to complete this project. Doline Busolo is yet another proud member of the society. She worked as a nutritionist for various organizations including NGOs and the government before going into private practice upon retirement. She joined the society in 2013. I bought shares from SIC and then I invested in PEPER which is a, a deposit uh, fixed account and the interests were very good. So from there I get dividends on a regular basis. One thing it has done is it has given me confidence. I can be able to do things, commit myself financially, knowing very well that I'm going to have some money. One of the things that I've done is uh, the psychology course. I have been able to buy two acres of land in Esinia. Some of the society's projects are through joint ventures. One of our major partnership projects is our project in Kiambu uh, called Zaria Village around Tatu City. Uh, this is a 120 acres piece of land where we've subdivided the land. We are doing a very robust value addition on that land. We are doing all the roads, internal roads, up to a Cabro uh, standard. We are doing a clubhouse, commercial center, a school, a swimming pool. We have uh, two big uh, boreholes done and well serviced. How about future projects? Uh, we've been very keen to support the government affordable housing uh, uh, program. We intend to build uh, units which will accommodate uh, uh, buyers all the way from studio houses to three bedroom houses. The project will ground break in May this year. And the society is looking beyond the borders. We have some MOUs with uh, diaspora circles who are our partners in those markets. We have found this useful, especially now as uh, the crunch of coronavirus kicks in and we cannot be able to travel on road shows and visit them. But we engage our diaspora clients through some of the circles. The society has an asset base worth 4.82 billion shillings and capital investment worth 2.5 billion shillings. Cooperative Bank of Kenya has played a key role in this growth. The bank has partnered with us in terms of selling uh, our projects to their database, to their membership, and uh, we've seen them giving us referrals and sales approximately over 300 uh, buyers through Cooperative Bank. We supported them now to do projects of over 1.5 billion Kenya shillings very successfully. If you look at uh, indirectly, because some of the members of uh, Safaricom Investment or whoever goes there and is not able to get funding either from the circle, we still as a bank have what we call ad user mortgage products uh, where we support now those particular members to be able to actually invest in those particular projects themselves. My retirement is not miserable. I have something on a regular basis which I can put on the table, something I can spend, something I can give. So I'm very happy that, you know, I joined SIG. When you talk about Ushirika, it is something that is in our DNA and when it gets to a point where we are able to save and invest together, it is actually a practical manifestation of something that is already in the African psyche by birth. That parting shot brings us to the end of today's episode. Always a pleasure having your company and we look forward to meeting you again next week. Many thanks for watching.